Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to review the latest episode of uh, Chainsaw Man, episode 3. So let's get straight into this. So spoilers for this episode. So uh, that episode was really, really good. I would call it epic. Um, you know, it was um, the animation was on point. The voice acting, the artwork, uh, the action, everything was on point. I love this episode. I'd give this episode a good solid 9 out of 10. It was epic and awesome, and I loved the ending of this episode it was so good i loved it so yeah and this is probably my favorite episode out of the episodes that we got so far for chainsaw man and i'm loving it so far and uh yeah but let's get into what actually happened in this episode so yeah so we start off the episode with our uh, machina uh, basically uh being the mom of the situation and um you know and she telling you know power that like you can't be doing this um when you just when you kill a demon you can't be spraying their guts all over the uh all over the pave, um, pavement and you can't be just like you know um killing demons and everything like that and in, in broad daylight where everyone can see you doing it you know you can't just be killing you know demons are on the street you know so and, and then power's just like um but it was denji denji told me to do it and then denji's just like what do you mean i didn't tell you to do this you're the one who ran off and did this yourself and then they start fighting each other and then they um for some reason show us a a shot of makina's ass while these two are fighting and i'm like that's a nice shot. I like, um, you know, Makina's ass. She, she's got a nice ass. But, like, but like, I'm not too sure why they showed Makina's ass while these two are, like, fighting. It's really weird. But, yeah. But this feels like they're, like, brother and sister. Like, you know, Denji and Power are, like, brother and sister to each other. And they're just bickering and fighting against each other. And then, um, and then Makina's the mom who just says, be quiet. <laughs> and it's, like, and basically slaps him over the head. And it's just like, oh, okay. Don't mess with Makina, you know. And it's, just, uh, and she has, like, this overwhelming, um, I guess, uh, um, motherly presence over, like, you know, over, over power. And you can see how, um, you know, um, how submissive, um, power is to, um, Makina. And this just shows how much of a leader Makina is and how much power she has over, you know, power and the other people that she commands, um, in this organization that she, you know, runs and everything like that. So, yeah. And then, uh, then she's just like, oh, what? <laughs> like, you know, like, um, the, you know, um, argument was cut short, um, because of Makina and, uh, yeah, but, um, and she also says, you know, be quiet, Denji, and, and this is your fault too, and, she, and then Denji's like, what, am, uh, what have I done, like, you know, so yeah, so it's literally like, um, you know, their brother and sister, and they got into an argument, and the mom's just like, um, you know, be quiet. And I've been in this situation many times with my brother as well. And I, I get where this is. I, where, I understand this scene. I understand this part of the episode. So, yeah. And then we go on to the next part of the episode where the Denji and also Power sort of have a bonding moment, I guess you could say, uh, where they bond over their sort of like being outcasts and being you know different to the other people in society and you know and their differences and everything like that and how they uh, um, how Power views people um, as like you know them, people are stupid, I don't understand them, and that um you know they're weird and they don't you know treat me um, the same way as they treat everyone else and they treat me like an outcast and they don't and they don't like me or anything like that and the same thing goes for denji he's an outcast people don't treat him the same way and i um, mean they both love like animals uh you know power loves cats and uh you know denji loves puchita um you know and um and they um, and denji tells you know power all about puchita and uh and, and his like you know relationship and everything like that and it sort of connects to uh you know power and uh power tells you know denji all about her cat and um and say that um, and she says that her cat has been taken by a devil and um and um, and i would love to get him back and uh you know and uh Denji says, "I'll, I mean, I'll help you." And uh, and Power says, oh, "If you help me, I'll, um, I'll let you, you know, cop a feel of my chest. I'll let you, you know, touch my titties." And I'm just like, "Bro, <laughs> this guy has only one thing on his, uh, 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 has like two, only two things on his mind: killing demons and touching some titties." Like, 
I can I can kind of understand where he's coming from, and I can I can kind of respect him. But like, I was like, Denji, come on, dude. <laughs> and then he and then he turns around, and he's so determined to defeat this demon that Power tells him about, and and, and Power's just like, oh, like she's so you know um. She's so, uh, uh, um, like, she's so shocked about Denji's, like, reaction to copying a feel of her tits. It's so weird. But, yeah. But, um, Denji says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the shit out of that demon. And I get some, like, you know, high school DXD, um, he, um Issei Hyoto vibes from him. And, uh, like, like in the last episode where he said, um, all I want to do is touch some boobs. I get the same sort of like, you know, feeling from him right here, right now, where he, where I can see Issei doing the same thing for Rias. But uh, yeah. And then uh, moving on, uh, they get the job from uh, this guy uh, to kill this demon that Power uh, told Denji about. Where I mean, um, that uh, Power had, I mean, you know, um, Power's cat has been taken by this demon, and it's the bat demon. But um, um we'll get to that very um, you know, later on in the review. And uh, they get the job, and they go out to the outskirts of uh, town. So yeah, then we get this scene uh, from uh, the um, in like in the middle of the anime where Makina is uh, talking to the uh, I guess these um, the heads up of the uh, of the demon uh, slaying. Um, you know, organization like um, these are all the uh, top brass. I guess you could say these are the uh, people in charge, and they're telling you know Makina to not get um to not get attached to these uh you know to her underlings. Like you know they may um they may be your underlings, but like they're also dogs uh, um for us to use as we see fit. Like you um you know don't get too attached to these people and um. They're just tools for us to use, and uh, and I don't think Makina sort of views um, you know these people as like tools that she has underneath her. Um, she views them as like you know um, I wouldn't say family, but she does view them as like you know um, as people that can help her at the end of the day. Like you know she sa she does say um, to Idenji uh, in like the uh, second episode, like I don't need anyone in my organization who can't follow orders. You either say yes or you wolf to me. But at the same time, she still views them as like you know um, as like people. And even though that these guys are demons, um, you know, and they're t meant to be tools and everything like that, I don't really feel like Machina um, feels that way about um, you know um, Denji and Power and also um, you know Akira. And they also, uh, and she, I mean, Akira um, talks about, you know, how, um, you know, why did you let Denji into this organization? Uh, what do you see in him? And uh, she was curious about, you know, um, Denji's, you um, know, transformation into the, uh, in, into this chainsaw devil man. And, um, she's um because there's all these different types of devils that spawn in this world that are out of fear um and uh fear of certain things so like you know um there might be the uh, coffee devil but the coffee devil might not be that very you know strong because you know people might have a fear of coffee but it might be not the very strongest devil because um you know not a lot of pe people fear coffee or something like that and she uses that as like a an analogy i guess you could say and then she um um, and then um, let's say um, you have the car devil. Um, you know, people are feared of you know being run over. So the car devil might um, be a bit more stronger than the coffee devil. So you get where I'm coming from. It might be a bit I um, mean you know, weird to understand, but like basically um, you know. But basically, uh, devils are, you know, um, born out of people's fear of certain things in this in this world, and they are, um, and they are, um, the stronger the the fear is, the more the stronger the devil is. So yeah. So then um, we go over to our power and also Denji, and they go they go out to where this I um, you know they go to this house where the de um, where the demon is and uh, where I mean a power is leading Denji to and um and then power whacks Denji over the head and says you know um you idiot I wasn't you know I didn't need your help or anything like that I actually brought you here for us um to be a sacrifice so I can get my cat back. 
so yeah, so uh, um, you know, power whacks Denji over the head uh, and you know drags him into the house. Um, it's actually kind of I mean, you know, weird. I um, mean, you know, powers dragging you know Denji into the house, and it's like this black sort of um, you know um, when you go into the house, it's like this black room, and all you see is you know power closing the door, and it's just like oh shit, you know. So yeah. And then we see the demon that she has been uh, telling us all about, and it's uh, and it's the bat demon, um, and it's this you know demonic looking bat demon that has like these you know muscular sort of arms and this uh, furry sort of like neck, and he, I mean it looks exactly like a bat has like a bat face and everything like that, and it says like uh, you know um uh you know greetings blood demon um because you know power powers the blood demon and uh you know. It's uh, power says, oh, I'm, um, here's your meal, you know, give me back my cat, and, um, you know, the bat grabs Denji and says, you know, this is my first meal in so long, and he squeezes Denji, um, and, uh, tries to draw, I mean, to drain out his blood, and then, um, and then Denji's just like, Ugh, and, 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 you know, spits blood into his mouth, and he's like, Ugh, disgusting, and he throws Denji to the, uh, side, and he didn't want to eat Denji. So then, uh, then the bat demon says, oh, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go out there and actually, you know, kill some real people. And, um, and, uh, so he jumps onto the roof and he's about to fly away. And, uh, Denji, uh, remembers back to the, uh, the conversation that he had with Akira, um, saying, why are you trying to make friends with these demons? Like, you know, these demons are evil. They don't have any souls or anything like that. And they'll try to manipulate you, you know, don't trust them. And, uh, Denji, um, in the last episode, um, you know, didn't want to view the demons like that. Maybe he could, um, you know, befriend, uh, I don't know, demons and everything like that. And, um, you know, um, see, uh, their sort of like, you know, story and their side of the story story instead of just viewing them as like you know mi uh, mindless killing machines and as like you know it's just evil um you know he wants to understand uh you know what these demons are and why they exist and everything like that and um maybe he can um look past that or something like that and he sees that in uh you know empower where yeah she was a little bit you know um you know crazy and everything like that and she is a devil but she also um you know has uh you know a different side to her um you know sort of a caring side to her for this uh you know for this cat for this creature and she understands um um, she, um, when this, you know, part of the episode happens where her cat gets eaten by the, uh, you know, by the, um, bat devil, uh, she understands where Denji is coming from when Denji said that Puchita is inside me, he's inside my heart, and, uh, you know, Power didn't really understand that when they were having that conversation, um, about, you know, um, when uh, Denji was telling her about Puchita, um, she did not really understand the whole, like, concept of, um, you know, oh, um, you know, um, Puchita is, in, um, you know, inside here, inside my heart, and she's just like, I don't understand that, like, that's, you know, weird to me, you're a weirdo, you know, and then um, after, you know, the cat that she holds so dear, you know, gets eaten by this devil, she, um, you know, tells Denji that, oh, you know, I understand where you're coming from, and I understand where, um, you know, why you feel this way about your dog, about your, um, your Puchita, and everything like that, so yeah. And then, um, and then we get a flashback of, uh, you know, Powers, uh, and backstory about her, um, about her sort of, uh, you know, finding this cat, and how she, um, you know, found this cat, and, uh, they meet each other, you know, on the, um, in some, like, woods, and the cat is, like, all, you know, shriveled up and about to die, and, uh, Power picks up the cat and says, well, um, you know, let's get some food into you, and she is, like, completely naked, and, uh, and her hair is all over the place and everything like that, and it's just like, wow, okay, she's, um, she's just living on the, uh, earth, I get, I'm living from the earth, and she doesn't really care. And then she, uh, um, she gives the cat some milk, and she also kills the, uh, you know, cow, um, and, and probably drinks the, um, drinks the cow's blood, because I'm pretty sure she's the blood demon, I think she, you know, drinks blood, and, uh, yeah. And then we uh, get a little bit of a you know a cute scene from uh, Power and the cat, and uh, we find out you know what happened to the cat, how it was picked up by the bat demon, and the bat demon was uh, holding it hostage um, in front of uh, Power, and uh, you know Power I mean submitted to this bat demon, and the bat demon said like if you uh, you know don't bring me uh, you know humans for me to eat, um, I will kill this cat, 
and I'm assuming that you know this happened. I mean, a while ago. I don't know the uh, the timeline of when this happened. This is probably before she met Machina and everything like that, and, and became a Devil Slayer and everything like that. But I'm not too sure when this happened, this backstory. But I'm pretty sure she's been giving, uh, you know, bringing you know people to this back demon for a while. So yeah. So um, Machina, I'm um, not Machina. Ah, uh, power. I uh, was bringing you know people to this demon to get her cat back, and uh, and uh, now she understands how you know Denji feels, and I love how like the bat demon just kind of grabs her and just oh, oh, like you know just um you know eats her like um in whole like you know she just gets gulped down like she's like um you know um uh, in one big gulp. <laughs> it's kind of funny honestly. So yeah. And then uh, Denji grabs the foot of this uh, demon and uh, and says, oh, you know, I um, you know, give you know power back." And yeah, you know, I I didn't get a t I get I didn't get a chance to cop her titties. Like I didn't get a chance to you know feel her titties. And it's just like, wow, dude. Okay. <laughs> and then um and then he has a bit of a flashback to uh, Puchita and how he uh, sort of feels about Puchita and their relationship. And I really love this uh, shot of Puchita where she, and where Puchita is just like crying in the corner and it just looks so cute i want one i want puchita I, I mean i want a dog like this like you know it just it's just crying and it looks so cute so yeah and then uh we see uh then we see the fight you know break out between you know denji and also this uh you know back demon and it looks epic it looks so cool and i love this fight and it transforms into um his uh you know demon form his uh chainsaw demon form and it looks epic as hell and he's uh you know crashing into buildings and he's trying to you know kill this demon and he's saying get away to the humans that are um, behind him and you get these really cool shots of him trying to attack the uh back demon and everything like that and there's this really cool like you know um background music to it and it looks so cool and then we get the bat demon um you know fighting back um you know using an air you know sort of move where he um launches ben um, denji into a building uh with some with some air pressure and everything like that and it looks beautiful like this episode looks so good like the animation and art is on point and i love it it looks so epic and so cool and um and then uh denji comes out of the building and he's got a bit um, a bunch of his fingers are you know broken and everything like that and he's like and his shirt is all bloodied but he looks so epic and so cool like honestly i was like when i was watching this i was like yeah let's go like you know i was i was jumping out of my seat when i saw this episode i was like this is so cool so yeah and then uh, Denji goes in to, uh, you know, attack the um, this devil, and he gets some really nice shots of the uh, of um, you know Denji's uh, you know demon form, this uh, you know chainsaw man that he ch you know changes into when he goes into battle, and it looks so cool. I love the design of you know Denji's uh, devil, sort of like you know um, um, his uh, chainsaw devil form. It looks so cool, and I love it. So yeah, then he uh, defeats the bat demon. He uh, you know tears him all. Um, he tears them all up and he shreds him. And uh, you can see this really epic shot from you know um, from Denji how he defeats the demon. And then uh, we go to the end of the episode where you have this really awesome shot of him just breathing and there's a uh, and there's um, um you know there's this um you know, air that comes out of him and it's just like so epic like this is that's the only way i can describe this episode it was epic and it was cool and this whole I mean, battle was awesome uh when you know denji versus the back demon and it looked epic as hell and i loved it so yeah um as i said uh this episode was really really good this is your boy shonen boy signing out you know like and subscribe comment down below uh what was your favorite part about this episode did you like this episode did you dislike this episode and um you know and um what did you think about the uh fight between denji and the back demon did you enjoy it um was the animation on point and the art was you know um you know spectacular or did you think it uh, missed the point and it wasn't that very good uh put your comments down below and um, in, in your feelings about this episode and until next time i'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day i'd give this episode a good solid um, a nine out of ten anyways until next time i'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day